Is this a real story or not? Does Kay Hagan really want to get back into elective politics? She really is playing it coy, uh, that's for sure. Um, it's a big story in D.C. because all of the stories about Kay Hagan's interest in running for uh, the Senate are coming from Washington sources. The, this week we had, uh, or recently we had stories in National Journal saying that uh, Senator Chuck Schumer of New York who heads the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, was uh, was effectively on bended knee with a, a bouquet of flowers and a box of bonbons <laughs> saying, please, please run for Senate. And Why would he so much want her to run? What is it about Kay Hagan? No disrespect to the former senator, but what would she bring to the table? Uh, they don't have anybody else. I mean, it's really what it boils down to. The bench is non-existent. We're not talking, and you even hear a Democratic consultants talking about. It's not as if we've got a bunch of you know, we got a bunch of kids at AAA that are ready to come up. We're looking at Double A or even Class A, and they just don't have a second tier candidate who has expressed an interest in running or that uh, that they can look at. I mean, we've discussed previously uh, about some other uh, candidates who would be formidable, such as State Treasurer Janet Cowell. She's already said, I'm not running for this, I'm running for Treasurer again. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw not too long ago that uh, retired uh, 7th District Congressman Mike McIntyre had been mentioned in a telephone poll for some aid, for some polling institution we didn't know about. I mean, we weren't who didn't identify themselves, mm -hmm. and so clearly there are some people who are interested in seeing if if Mike McIntyre would be a, a but uh, you know, potential uh, serious candidate against Richard Burr, but uh, right now there really isn't anybody else who has experience, statewide name recognition, and the ability to raise enough money to make it a competitive campaign.